It's week 14 of the NFL. Up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes as he's gone over 4,000 yards passing now for the year. It's the Browns and the Bengals coming up next. From the home of the Twitter, Twitter, the AFC champs, there's a look inside newly named Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they've been cooking these last couple months, winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14-2. and two. And anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. season are complete what works in our final month we're underway in week 14 taken in at the three and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense and they'll be led out by a man who needs no introduction one of the most exciting players in all the sports now in his sixth season out of Texas A&M Patrick Mahomes his game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Second down and eight. Now here's Mahomes. And incomplete. Now you get a look at their key inactives for this week's game, and, and Charles, clearly you don't want to have any of these guys unavailable, especially when you're where they're at fighting for a playoff spot. I agree, because the postseason is on the line. So you've got to overcome the injuries and find a way to win. And the only way to do that, the guys available have to step up. What's that mantra in the NFL? Next man up. This is their opportunity. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here come the Bengals now to take over. Bringing this crew out, it's someone known for his big arm since he entered the league back in 2016, Jacoby Brissett. I love just about everything about him. Love his game, love his makeup, love his moxie. One of my favorite words. This guy's a competitor. Gritty, tough, you name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, He's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. In last week's game for Kittle, there are the numbers. Six catches, 52 yards. And he was able to haul that pass in there, but he knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. This unit in the top five in the NFL against the pass. He's going to have to really work hard to get open. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. The Bengals at 500. at six and six. And they come in losers of two straight. So trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight. And when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club 
is more than capable of turning things around. And I expect him to play really well here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, this defense for the Browns, they were fantastic a week ago in that win over Houston. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. On second down, Mostert. And he stopped immediately there. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Now these two teams, you might recall, met back in midseason, week eight to be exact. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. They'll try to throw now. Brissett. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. To throw once more on second and ten. Brissett. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 32-yard line. Back to the running game with Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 31, Brissett completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. On play action, Brissett. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their full down. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top 10. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might well go ahead and run it anyway, because that's your strength. Yeah, it looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. 
Brissett. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And his kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3 0. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Now left side on the swing pass. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They go play action. Now Mahomes. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. On second and 12, Mahomes. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Now it's Mahomes again. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Steps away. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, Mahomes, and he finds Howard complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. They go play fake. Mahomes. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, Mahomes. Another completion right back to Patterson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. 
So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Browns on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Throw complete right side to Colts. And he is going to have a Browns first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Well, that's a catch of some significance. It's number 631 of his career. And why that's significant, it ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. It was one of the most precise round runners at any position during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Barry, but he goes about his business the same way understands how defenses are going to play, understands where the leverage is, and goes away from it to the tune of 631 catches. On second and seven, Mahomes, touchdown! O.J. Howard, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Browns have moved out in front. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Will Lutz on for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they are back down to the 500 mark after two straight losses. And Charles, this is a team that, to be frank, is their play has really dropped off the last couple of weeks. And Brandon, I think there's a sense around the building that they can't let this losing streak get any worse than it is. Because if they were to lose here and fall below 500, then you're playing catch up the rest of the way. They got to take a stand and make it stop right now. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Brissett. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the gun, here's Brissad. And incomplete on the deep ball. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing, Brissad. He's going to air one out for Anderson. He's got a man complete. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. The 
They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten the yard down to the 16. On second, here's Algier. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Brissett. They'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 two -two Atwell. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. To throw, Brissett. Touchdown, Bengals! George Kittle, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bengals have retaken the lead. But down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to 7. George Kittle touchdown. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. And no return here for Reed. This will be a touchback. Out comes the offense onto the field once more, led by O.J. Howard. Well, he's within shouting distance of a thousand yard season. Gonna need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asks for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. On second down, a run with Patterson. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in one referee. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And the catch made by Hopkins. The offense on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 27 yards there, a first down.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Schwartz. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Brissett sets to throw it. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brissett again. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Brissett. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Anthony Schwartz, 33 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. The kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here for Reed, so this will come out to the 25. Cleveland offense making their way out. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he is going to have a Browns first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Mahomes now on first down. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. This to Jarwin. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. He gets it to Cooks. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mahomes. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 27. 
Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. The Holmes throw pulled in by Hopkins. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. He's a gain of six. And a brown first down. A first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Mahomes to throw once more. And he finds Howard complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A good passing down here. They send three receivers to the right of the formation on second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Hopkins on the ground over the middle. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Flushed out, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. The kick by Lutz is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Browns. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Takes it at the seven. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On third down, Brissett. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 
And he fields it cleanly. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now left side on the swing pass. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. A place like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well. But it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about. And that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead. And what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Another completion right back to Patterson. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. They'll start on the ground with Moster. Gets out of a little bit of trouble there with a shifty move. He'll take it up past the six. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Back near his goal line, Brissett. And that is incomplete. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And it's fielded at the 34. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. 
And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now here's Mahomes. This one left side caught by Patterson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he is going to have a Browns first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. A little football one-on-one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. First and ten, it's Patterson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and eight. Patterson on the draw play. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Throw. Oh, he put her on the carpet, a fumble, and the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing, the team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. They just get the playoff. Now Brissett. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Found his target, it's Anderson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team, and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Brissett now. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete Delayed game. 
So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Batted by the linebacker, but still adjusts and makes a catch. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Play action now. Brissett. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Robbie Anderson, 45 yards. And the Bengals will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Point after, right down the middle. And a lead now up to 14. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. From the 31, Mahomes going underneath, complete to Jarwin. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Mahomes firing complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The Browns send out their punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Off the play fake, here's Brissad. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. So a line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Brissett. And the incomplete. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away.
And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Browns set to take over. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On first down, Mahomes. That's caught by Howard. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Throwing again on second down, Mahomes. His throw incomplete. After the incompletion, here now third and two. To throw, it's Mahomes. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they get five there on third and two. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now it's Mahomes again, and he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll lose yardage, brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Oh, Parker, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Now they go screen. It's complete. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Mahomes now to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. They call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll be fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not for one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? The Browns send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. From the 22, here's second and eight. Once again, it's Mostert, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. To throw, Brissett. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Cleveland offense making their way out. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second and nine, Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Patterson. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Mahomes now on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got it to Patterson complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's Patterson. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. So still over three minutes remaining in this game. But boy, not getting that one that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing. So they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On play action, Brissett. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. To throw is Brissett. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is going to have a Brown's first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Able to find Patterson. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Mahomes used to moving quickly in college, trying to get his guys to the line. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 26. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Lutz with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. A handoff running left is Mostert, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now a timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Brissett. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there. That's batted down and incomplete. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will extend their lead even further. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Taken in at the three. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Charles, you think about this victory, pretty impressive. They came in facing one of the top defenses in the National Football League. Not only did they get the win, they played a clean football game, didn't have any turnovers against that great defense. Yeah, it's a terrific observation because you know they emphasize ball security, wanted to avoid making any major mistakes playing against that tough defense, and they were 
turnover free and took points when they were available. Excellent execution, and they did it confidently. So for Cincinnati, they move back over 500 at 7-6. And, and they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, it's just their third loss as they fall now to 10-3. And, and they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town.